Yo, what's going on? Nico here again with another tutorial. Last time we edited a moody photo from Iceland and this time it's going to be a rather brighter photo from Scotland. First things first, thank you very much for all the positive feedback on the last editing video. Uh, super nice to get uh, the opinion of all of you. And yeah, I chose this photo because it did kind of well and I don't really have a concept for <laughs> selecting certain photos for these editing tutorials. I'm just going ahead and choosing the ones that did pretty much best on Instagram and just as last time I'll be including a Google Drive folder link uh, with the DNG file, the preset file and the edited DNG file for all of you who are using Lightroom Mobile only. So yeah, I almost managed to do the edit within the eight minutes I set up last video. So I'm probably going to stick to it and put eight minutes on the clock again. And without further ado, let's get straight into Lightroom and edit the photo. As I told you, this time it's going to be a rather bright photo. I'll be showing you how to get from this file to this edited version. Let's get straight into editing. First things first, take this file. Pretty much every time I edit a photo, the first thing I do since I edit most of my photos for Instagram is a simple crop to 4x5. I don't want the rocks down there in the photo, so yeah, that looks perfectly fine. Pretty much not going to change anything about the white balance or the exposure. Just as last time, bring down the highlights just a little bit and yeah i'm completely raising my shadows i'm going to compensate that right now with the whites and the blacks okay so let's play around with those somewhat around 45 and doing a similar thing with the blacks just the other direction to negative 45 right here and since it's pretty bright right now, I'll be using some dehaze to bring back some of the colors that we lost. Okay, that looks great from there. Probably just go right away to the tone curves. Probably won't do a lot of here. Just slightly lifting the blacks and then already moving on to the HSL slider. Okay, there are rarely any reds in the photo, but I'm uh, just going to lower them. Because even if you're not really having reds in the photo, the color can be changed right here through the hue. Leaving it somewhere like this. And then the oranges may boost the saturation a little bit. Because right there, if you boost the oranges, you can see the gravel, the rocks in the background a lot better and then for luminance of the oranges you can see a big difference just making the oranges brighter right here on the beach and already in the rock in the foreground then going for the yellows i like to pull them kind of to the oranges and since the photo is pretty yellow i'm lowering the yellows maybe somewhere around there and then also making the yellows brighter too have a more interesting and contrasty photo. So next, the greens. The greens, as always for me, putting those towards the oranges, somewhere around there. And then to have more interesting colors on the island, I'll be raising the saturation of the greens quite a lot. And exposure, let's also bring those up a little bit. And now comes the interesting part, because you can see already some of the aqua in the water so let's bring the aqua quite far towards the green so the aqua pops out nicely then i'll raise the saturation of the aqua and also let's see luminance goes up to somewhere around here so next the blues are going to be to have a better contrast between the turquoise areas in the ocean and the blues i'm slightly raising the blue towards the purple but then desaturate the blues to negative 60 looks good for the luminance maybe just lower them 
slightly. Okay, for the purple, move all the purple towards the blue or just erase them completely, pull down the saturation of the purple. So far, I'm pretty happy with the result. For split toning, I'm choosing a warm tone for the highlight, maybe a little bit more to the yellow and then lower this 50 and 9. For the shadows, I'll be adding a cooler tone, somewhere around 210, looks good and saturation of 15. Here you can see already does make the photo a lot cooler. All right, I do like the changes that we got through the split turnings. Details, not going to change anything about that, but I pretty much always remove the chromatic aberrations, transform this nothing we need to do but i always tend to add a vignette so somewhere around negative 25 and now comes the interesting part i can also make a separate video on this the calibration this can change pretty much all of the colors in your photo. Yeah, I do that quite often with my photos that have the strong orange tones in them. So I basically go ahead and change, for example, you can go ahead and change green completely into orange. <laughs> right now we got the teal and orange look already, but that's not what we're going for with this edit. Let's just go ahead, reset those. Okay, resetting all of these changes because they were way too extreme. For the reds, I'll tend to... let's see, what can we do? I bring down the reds just slightly and also I'll be adding some saturation to them, maybe like here. Then the greens, I tend to bring them also towards the yellows, saturation just slightly down. And then for the blues, let's see... Yeah, somewhere around here and add quite some saturation on the blues something around 40 here's the difference that the camera calibrations did pretty significant but now we have one little problem that came up through all of the color editing we could either go back into the hsl and see if we maybe need to desaturate the yellows but then we're going to lose a lot of the color in the background, which I don't want. So I'll be doing these changes with the brush. So basically, I just want to desaturate them, go for negative 40 on the saturation. What you can do is just select the auto mask. It will do a decent job. Just paint over these rocks like so. And then of course on the, the main island right here so there's a bigger separation between the greenish grass and those yellow rocks because let's be honest looks more interesting if you have a stronger color contrast as well i'll try to remove most of the yellows right here just like so you can also down here select show a selected mask overlay that will tell you where you have painted already i might also paint over here just yeah maybe just a little bit over here on top then i'm going to hide the mask again and play a little bit around with the saturation and if you have some areas like here just go over it again and refine it as easy as this yeah i do like this also going to add a another brush just this time adding some clarity around here on this big rock and some back here also on the other island that made a significant difference yeah i'm pretty happy with this also maybe just a graduated filter here you can decide whether you would like to have a rather bright sky which i did in the edit that i posted on Instagram or you could just go ahead and do some dehaze on it and see where this brings you maybe some clarity but in that case you will have to denoise the sky a little bit because otherwise you end up with a lot of these color grains in the sky let's reset this and I'll be raising the exposure to somewhere around here yeah um pretty pretty happy with this result and as i showed you in the last editing tutorial from here you can click on the plus icon create preset selecting the graduated filter duncan's behead and create
sweet second photo edited and if you are using the preset for one of your photos feel free to tag me in the photo or just send me a dm on instagram and i'm happy to review the photo give him a like anyways i'm yet again in need of your uh, feedback just let me know anything I should change, maybe even other topics that you want me to cover in future videos. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.